Uh, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rechach Kodash. Want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessing, Shalom, unto the hopefully elect. All right, the men that sign and crying for all the abominations going on across the earth, man. All right, who's speaking on the uh, the uh, the up and coming destruction to America and uh, all the heathens uh, that's ruling, but the main destruction is coming to the shores of America, man. All right, all the debate about what Babel, uh, who uh, Babylon the Great is. All right, who all these cold names. Uh, uh, speaking of a speaking uh, of a uh, specific destruction, dealing with prophecy, all that shit's out the window, man. Okay, you can debate, you cannot agree with it, but the whole world see who's hated amongst all the nations. The whole world see who's ruled the nations uh, uh, in a wicked manner, man, and oppress the whole earth, man, stomping around like the big bad wolf. Okay, it's your beloved America, which is Babylon the Great, that great whore. All right, that sit upon many waters. All right, and uh, uh, right now you seeing that for, uh, coming to fruition through all of these nations, man. After this uh, this war act committed by Donald Trump, man, all these nations starting to rise up and 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 come against America, man. Initially, uh, Iran as revenge, okay, wanting payback for what happened. And then you had China jump in the picture. Now you have Russia saying uh, it's going to back up Iran, man. And that's just the beginning, man. Eventually, all the nations are going to turn on this place, man. All right, even his allies. Okay, those are the EU. All right. So uh, I'm going to go and just want to go in through the spirit, man. All right, not sure what I'm going to entitle this, man. But the fact is, America is, 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 is hated. And that hatred amongst the other nations is going to turn into a nuclear war, man. Okay, so uh, Lord willing, there's some edification in this lesson. Uh, I'm going to get the book of Isaiah, chapter 14 and verse 4. It says, thou, and this is, when you go into the uh, 14th chapter of Isaiah, man, this is future prophecy. Going into the uh, establishment of our kingdom, all right, the kingdom of heaven under Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Okay. So uh, uh, Isaiah 14 and 4, it says that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, how has the oppressor ceased? The golden city ceased, man. All right. And through America, all right, the elites have been oppressing uh, uh, everybody, man. All right. This devil is always, all right, as America is a forefront, always in someone else's land. Okay. Always uh, going over there, sticking their nose in someone else's business, claiming to uh, be putting forth justice, man. Okay? Claiming to be uh, taking care of the people that's under some type of dictatorship or some tyranny when that's the situation over here, man. We're being the ones that's being polluted and killed by our so-called government, man. All right, poison through the water and food, man. All right, all different types of acts of, of, of murderous uh, decrees put forth, man. Okay, and this devil, all right, has uh, uh, nerve enough to go around the earth as if they're the police of the earth, man. And the nations are sick of it, man. All right, but it's gonna come a point in time, man. And now that we're in that time, all right. Everybody's uh, tired of this place, and they're seeing that this is a time to strike because they're weak. Okay, so uh, verse five, it says, "The Lord have broke the, broken the staff of the wicked and the sceptre." Sepulchre of the rulers, he who smote the rat, the people in wrath with a continual stroke that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindereth, man. Okay, so who who's done that, man? You go through the track record of the, uh, of the earth, man. All right, you actually had um uh if you go uh, you can Google it if you basically type in war acts against another country. Uh, and you just uh, uh, you put in uh, America is gonna be the uh, the top country, man. All right, who's always they they have been at war, man. People want to talk about uh, the fact that we haven't been at war in so long. No, that's bullshit, man. All right, America has been in countless acts of war, man. All right, they just haven't been promoted and pushed like that over here for these people. But the rest of the world know America to be that big bad. Uh, 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 so-called big bad country who's ready to drop bombs at any time, man. All right, Axe Ammon over there in uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki. 
okay? The Middle East has been bombarded by America, man. All right, under multiple presidents, man. Okay, it says, uh, verse 7, the whole earth is at rest and is quiet. The, they break forth in, into singing, man. All right, now we talk about the fact that uh, the other nations are going to be in subjection under the nation of Israel, but they still going to be rejoicing because we're going to rule in righteousness, man. Okay, versus what they're dealing with now, man. Okay, Esau's going to get it the worst in, 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 uh, in the kingdom, man. Okay, but the whole earth is going to be at rest once this uh, place is taken out, man. Okay, verse 8, it says, Yeah, the fir trees rejoice at thee, and the cedars of Lebanon say, Since thou art laid down, no fellow has come up against us. Hell from beneath is moved is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. It stirred up the dead for thee, even all the chief ones of the earth. It has raised up from their thrones, all the kings of the nations, all right? And we're in the beginning stage of that, man. Okay, now, the prophets of the Lord have been on the uh, on the scene for the last four to five uh, decades, man. Okay? Talking about uh, 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 what's to come, man. All right? And everybody thought it was such a joke, man. All right? To hear uh, brothers out on the street corners, man, talking about World War Three, man. Okay? Talking about America being destroyed by missiles. Now that this is uh, this is uh, this is coming out, and all these uh, um, uh, nations are pissed off at what at what happened in Iran. Okay, now people starting to want to turn their ear to listen. Okay, but no. First of all, you heathens, y'all don't have a chance at salvation. And the ones of Israel who didn't take heed, man, and thought it was such a joke, y'all gonna fall with this place, man. Okay. <laughs> But uh, here's the uh, main point in verse 10. Isaiah 14 and 10. It's like it. <coughs> Isaiah 14 and 10. And they shall speak and say unto thee, Art thou also become weak as we? Art thou become like unto us? All right? And that's that's the state we in right now, man. I'm not going to say we. America. All right? All these other nations see that this place is weak, man. Okay? We used to have one of the most feared... Uh, militaries in the earth, man. Well, the most feared military in the earth, man. Okay. Uh, top grade uh, uh, um, missile technology, man. But now everybody got nukes, man. Everybody got nuclear technology as, and, and it's advanced more than America's, man. Okay. No uh, missile defense is going to stop the destruction from coming to this place, man. But these nations, they see that now is the time to strike, man. Okay. You're not the only one with a big gun no more, America. Okay. Right, uh, precept just to go uh, perfectly in line with that, man. Okay, and this is uh, Joel chapter 3 and verse 9. It says, oh, Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up, man. All right, because well, what's the topic of discussion amongst the world right now, man? World War Three, okay. And, and the point uh, in World War Three, what's gonna happen, man? All right, as you go further down in, uh, into uh, Joel chapter three, it speaks of uh, Jehos uh, Jehoshaphat, man. Okay, all right, that's where the Most High is gonna gather all the nations, all right, for a great, uh, great judgment, man. Okay. But let me read on. It says, beat your plow sh uh, shares into uh, swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say I'm strong, man. Okay, so now while you had certain uh, countries and nations that was known for agriculture, man, they uh, been preparing for war, man. All right, turning the tides, paying attention to what's going on in the earth and been preparing and, and investing in military, man. Why? Because they know the world, is, the world, a war is coming, a war, the world, war. Versus America, who's teaching everybody just to remain asleep and it's okay. Worry about the Super Bowl. Worried about this championship. Worry about this singing competition. All this bullshit to keep you, uh, you, uh, you people distracted, man. All right. While there's nothing but chaos going on through the earth, man. All right. And America is behind a lot of it, man. Dealing with these Amalekites, man. All right. Running the state of Israel. Okay. But it says, uh, verse eleven. Assemble yourselves. And come, all ye heathen, heathen, and gather yourselves together round about. Thither 
cause and then it cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord, man. All right, and that's another thing we wait, man. We know that you have a uh, well, matter of fact, let me get it, man, because you have angels who's holding back the destruction, all right, for the purpose of the elect being sealed, man. Okay, and the most high's words being fulfilled. All right, this is a um, real quick, this is book of Revelation. Uh, seven, I'll start from the top. It says, and the, and after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, which is talking about what? The destruction to come. And how is that destruction going to come? In the form of thermonuclear missiles, man. Okay? It says, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw... The, another angel ascending from the east having the seal of the living power and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea man so even though we uh physically all right you're gonna have these other nations who's gonna be shooting off the missiles it's the most high who's gonna put it in their minds man and uh lord willing i'll get that in uh revelation uh 17 man the most high is in control in multiple scriptures you stated that he controls the minds of men all right he controls uh the king's heart man which is talking about the mind okay so he have the angels holding back these other nations from war man so all these people right now they starting a world war three uh countdown ain't shit gonna pop off into the uh to the uh mark of the beast uh come man okay and it's here but it's not uh issue without mandatory right now all right uh, across the earth man okay so it's all the most highest time frame okay so esau and all these people sitting up there they doing a world war three countdown that shit's pointless man ain't shit gonna happen until the most high uh uh as far as world war three all right and the missiles being shot off until the mark of the beast comes man okay so i want to jump back to uh Book of Joel. Come on, this is uh, Joel chapter 3 and 11. It says, Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves round about. Thither cause thy mighty ones to come, mighty ones to come down, O Lord. All right, the mighty ones being the angels, man. Or it says, Let the heathen be awakened and, and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat for there shall I sit to judge all the heathen round about man okay now that's just the, the multitude of the armies coming together to be a uh, judge man okay but there's a uh, uh, the main war is gonna be what through missiles man okay the main war is not gonna be fought on the battlefield man okay and uh the proof is in the book of Isaiah as well man uh, this is Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 5. It says, For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood, but this shall be with the burning and fuel of fire. What's going to be that burning and fuel of fire, man? Those thermonuclear missiles, man. Okay? Now, who who wants to debate that? Now, at this current time, okay, with all these threats of a uh, 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 nuclear talk, all right, if you really want to go out, Okay, it ain't just shooting a tomahawk missile. If you want to make a statement, it's time to pull out the big boys, man. Okay, so all you got all these scriptures dealing with uh, uh, and have different code names, all right. But you see what it's talking about, man. It's leading into a nuclear destruction, man. And America is going to be the main target because of its uh, wickedness that it's done in the earth, man. Okay, just another precept to God, Isaiah 9 and 5. This is Isaiah chapter 6 and 6 and 15. It says, For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall be many. Okay? So that fire and that sword is talking about those missiles once again, man. Okay? And what's going to be the main target, man? Okay? If you got one a uh, uh, nation or one country so to speak which is nothing really but an enterprise okay that's hated amongst everybody and everybody's tired of it they all gonna gang up on that bully man 
all right it's going to be other targets but the main target is here because this is great babylon where the ultimate uh judgment is going to come in okay what uh the, the the main deliverance is going to uh, take place uh dealing with the nation of israel man all right but all the heathens round about here in america they're going to be destroyed when the uh, thermonuclear uh war kicks off uh in world war three man all right which is going to be beneficial to the most high's will contrary to what the elite think man okay so i just want to uh get the book of revelation chapter uh, 17 and one man all right uh to two matter of fact because it's showing you man whoever uh this great whore has to be wow it's, it's gonna be a reason all right that is targeted that all the nations come against it and when you go through all these through process of elimination it has to be america man okay this is a uh, revelation 17 and 1 it says and there came one of the seven angels which had the seven vows and talked with me saying come uh saying unto me come hither I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters. All right. So this is all about the judgment. And who is the great whore? It's talking about America, man. Okay. That sitteth upon many waters. Okay. It's verse two. It says, all right. And I'm going to get in a second uh, what the waters represent, man. Okay. It's verse two. It says, which whom the earth, the kings of the earth have committed fornication and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication, man. Okay? Man, we, I'll just use a, a, a quick example of these movies, man. All right? And usually it being a lot of these little quirky Edomite movies, man. But you'll see what happening, man. You'll be seeing um, so-called uh, international deals being made with America from these other nations, man. All right? They coming from their traditions. They come over here to America. And what do they do? They get in the suit and tie. They try to learn English. They go get wild and crazy. They want to come over here and experience the wickedness of this place, man, because this is the pinnacle of wickedness amongst the nations. You know, when you want to get get a fulfillment of wickedness, America's a place to be, man. And what if he forced down their throats, man? All right, his philosophy, man, his doctrines, his Christianity, man, his democracy, all right? And at one point, all these nations trusted America, man. They were making money with them and shit, had made agreements. But then further down the line, this place, ain't, they, they, they ain't making good on no agreements, man. They're causing problems everywhere, everywhere they go, man. All right? Causing all type of trouble with these other nations from getting in bed with America, man. Okay? So, I uh, want to jump over to verse... Uh, 15 this is a revelation 17 and 15 okay and this is just the uh to pinpoint who is the great whore man okay who's set to be destroyed man all right this is a uh, revelation 17 and 15 it says and he said unto me the waters which thou sawest where the great whore sitteth are people and multitudes and nations and tongues man okay so it's evident that America is that one country, man. What's the known, what's the one language uh, throughout the earth, man? No matter where you go, you're going to uh, find a sect of people uh, amongst these heathens that speak English, man. All right? Okay? This is a place who've been influenced in the earth, man. And now everybody's tired of it, man. Okay? Verse uh, 16, it says, And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore and shall make her desolate and naked and she and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire man all right and this is the will of the heavenly father man okay but as i stated earlier man this is not gonna happen as if okay they take america out of the picture and that's it no man all right when those missiles get shot off the lord is gonna deliver his elect out of israel man who's gonna be in the safety of the chariots man freed out of the uh captivity and these bodies man okay and then what's gonna happen after that after the smoke clears it's gonna be roundup time man all right and, and it's gonna be the beginning in, in the building of the kingdom of heaven all right and the, uh who's gonna be uh ahead uh, in that building these elite bankers man all right the ones who's gonna go hide and, and escape the nuclear destruction are gonna be the first crop of slaves man okay thus said the scriptures all right so uh Man, uh, Lord willing, I brought a title some edification in this video. I'm going to go ahead and end it on that note. Um, hope everything through the Spirit came together. 
Uh, and once again, want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rachachurash. Want to give double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who continue to rule well and guide us through the Spirit and peace and blessings unto, uh, to the sincere brethren of the hopeful elect. Shalom.